What is up, geeks and gamers? Tony from Idiot Gamers here, bringing you episode 3 of Game of Thrones, Iron from Ice. When we last left our intrepid heroes, I called the queen a bitch a lot of times, may have plunged Westeros farther into war, to war! and Ramsay's a sadistic fucking asshole. Let's continue, shall we? Hear that? I know I heard something. RUN! If Ramsey catches me, I'm as good as dead. Am I changing people again already? Jesus! I've come to a figure out, I think that this tree insignia is the changing people thing. Which I'm okay with. Because I've read the book. And these chapters can be anywhere from a page long to six. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But you will trust my teenage rule. The Forester Lord stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold. Who sees back the river valley from the White Hills? Do I get a what cool they nickname? Call my father, Lord Gregor the Good. I want a he nickname. Was fair and wise. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Alright. Can I choose the guy that we set to the wall? Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. Do I get to behead somebody now? Maybe giddy? Yeah! He's only trying to survive. How am I gonna be Ned Stark? Yeah! Lord Ethan. Missed. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Oh. This house is doomed! You can shut up any time now, buddy. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Who do you work Two for? Two and three spears. Is what Sir Roylan said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? A share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Alright, dude, I'm all for like passing judgment on this guy, but you need Lord to stop Ethan, backhanding I know these words him. Are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime. In front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. You'll address him as Lord. Seriously, dude, stop hitting him! Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it is. Men need to know. Well, I am not my father in this case. Your Lord will not permit it. Can I send him to the wall? I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. Is it going to be one me, or the other answer? Is it going to be a three? Man. It will be an injustice. Three prong answer. Please, my lord, my family. I can me. send him to the wall. I sentence you to the wall. To the wall with you. Please, my lord. My family, 
I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> All shall fear me. Very unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need I still gotta choose one of those. You can trust by your side. Are you gunning for the job, someone sir? You can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between Good. them? Good! Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Can I get a fight to the death? Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Fair enough. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene a small council, my lord. I, I feel that uh, these choices are going to be just based on... Uh, if you're nice to me and you try to help me, I will be nice back. But if you're going to be a dick to me or, or try to force me to do something that I don't want to do, you're freaking screwed. So, Master Oregon, Small Council, Shield, talk to my child brother. Careful, keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan, look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? You honor Roderick with this. He was a strong one. He was. <laughs> but yeah. where's the other brother's name? Yeah. We don't so talk maybe, about him. I'll have a real one, but not like that. He's over in Esos. We'll meet up with him in the next chapter, you I think, maybe. Sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. I must it do what is right. Good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real yes, sword. child. Bad men do bad food. things. I'll find the men you understand the workings someday, of the I'm world. I'm sure I have a real sword when I do. All right, we will talk to this man first. Sword up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make. And I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own. Yeah, scare tactics. You've got to project power, especially when you're weak. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Can I talk to you again? Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, 
It was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Wise even. But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for I will decide whether or not he is going so, to become sentinel. When will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Yeah, I don't know about you. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. You should address I me as Lord. You did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his... I guilt. have heard not respecting the king but results in going to the wall. Well, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here. So I'm taking a no guess that Asher uh, decided she to leave insisted. because he didn't agree with her, things. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Yeah, we we have to kill Ramsay. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. Hooray! She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I, I sent him to the wall. To change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Are you mad at me because I, I did my job? Lord Whitehill. Garrett Come on. To the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to leave. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong. Decisive. I am a broken king. I don't know what I do. Remember, you're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. All right. Confidence ahoy, I think. Thank you. Oh, please tell me they're not like the Lannisters. Oh, please tell me they're not like the Lannisters. Mr. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I yeah, thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. You didn't have to send him to I the wall. To give you an advantage, 
and I regret any action you disapprove of. You had your reasons, but nonetheless, you undermined my authority. I can't have that happen again. It won't, my lord. You have my word. You will remember your place. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Food! <laughs> Uh, look at... Okay, we're done talking to him then, I guess. So, alright, I think no, we no. are... You can lift them, yeah? Are we ready to talk to the small council? Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? I don't here? know. Admiring the ironwood, my lord. It's hard I to say. I it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? He may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord yeah. Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Okay, so now, you're... I say, Parry, get that sword out! My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Sure, I think. Yes, maester. I'm ready. I Very guess. Well. I will convene the small council at once. Uh, this is gonna be a tough decision, kids. I don't know. I don't know. Do I give it to the guy that I like and think is gonna help me out down the road, or do I give it to the, the general guy that I don't know what his full intentions are? Can I make myself my sentinel? What about my brother, my sister? You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Can I pull a little Nicky and just keep it for myself? Ah, shit. Um. Crap. I honestly don't know what to do. I... This dude over here is gonna, you know, help me talk things out, but this dude's gonna stab people. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with Duncan. Duncan I'm gonna go with Tuttle. Duncan. I, I think he's, uh... This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has I think he's gonna choice. be the smarter person to choose, so... And Roiland Roy Roy just seems like he wants though. power. So, we'll now, see. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? <laughs> Our scout says only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Well, crap. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. I, uh... The need our people to harvest the ironwood. I, uh, I, I was gonna Ramsey say he doesn't scare me, but he does scare me. here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone. I do agree that we should kill him, no, but so you know I, I don't know. Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. You tell him, kid. 
Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a but plan what are they gonna if Mira's do? efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Whatever he wants. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons Ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. Yeah, it's you've already tried to, to push that one on me, dude. That ain't gonna to fly. With. Enough! <laughs> ah, Madre de Bios. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If and then stab him in the back fight, when I can. You're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made that his may be. known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. As we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsey's Then respect arrival. my decision, ya bastard. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsey Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. God, this Take crap again, dude? Gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the great hall. They don't want him at, well, don't want the guy to be standing out in the cold. You see, Tuttle is steering you wrong. That's enough, Royland. Lord Ethan has given. Can I fire Royland right now? Can I send him to the wall, please, please, please? He's really starting to annoy me. That bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. I'm gonna send you to the wall, man. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. Then respect my decision, you bastard. God! There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done allies, everything she can in allies, Kings Landing. Allies, allies, can, can I... What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. Can I go help Daenerys? No, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength too. So he's a psychopath too. All right, all right. Do you fair remember enough. the Miller's boy? How he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Sweet. Of course, your father was furious. 
But you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts and we need that. So he should be my sentinel. Fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate and a lord needs that. But a lord also needs swords. Hmm. Wise words from a wise woman, apparently. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Yeah, go get I my Psychopath Hall of Fame, awesome brother. Yeah, back. do it. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. We know need family. You never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. All right. Made some choices as a king. Back to King's Landing. Strange key. Shall I take said strange key? I'm taking this. But where does the key go? I'm gonna steal shit. Marjorie? I'm gonna take everything. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. I have if to be strong! Way, Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Uh-oh. She don't look too good. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you all right, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. Well, crap. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I Sorry said about that? He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I'm so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. Yeah, we'll be ready for him, though. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. You're right, you gotta be stabby and sneaky and <sighs> things and stuff. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Warn them then. But I have the strange key. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. 
I was right before. About Boy, you need to stop stalking people. I just want you to know, I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why yeah, you must Littlefinger trust me and Varys. You need allies. Cersei and Hopefully I'll prove Tyrion and Marjorie and Joffrey and everybody. And I'm sorry. I I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who You know I've people who what? Are you the- are you friends with the many-faced man? Falar Margulis, bitch? Please don't kill me. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand the men stand ready to act if needed. Oh, a little it. skip in there. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this I hate you, psychopath. I hate you. Humor. Crazy Not son the of a bitch. Want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? Please don't burn my house down. introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton? Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of... Thank you, no, That's enough. <laughs> Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay. Welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token. What about me? The new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. <laughs> Look at that. More Forester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Please leave my family alone. <laughs> we really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah, worried about your family. Yes. You I'm the Please Lord. don't torture I'll us. Have you speak only with me. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord. Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Man, Only fuck the Boltons! The is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then, uh, no. I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. Yeah, he wouldn't no. Make you a Would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our Please stop men. intimidating me. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. 
Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. Then and they you always lie. Me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Please don't White kill me. We'll be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood. No! But that is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Well, we well yeah. Talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? I just don't want you to have any of it at all. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Oh, they're already here? Great, wonderful, wonderful. God damn it. You have a man Fucking you trust? Ramsey, I hate you. Griff. Riff, we lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. That's <laughs> do make this face into a worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Ramsey, you, know, you that bastard. Is little Forrester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsey, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen and her brother. <laughs> I hope not either. I will agree I with you on that sister. there, buddy. Always want one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. You give her back. You give like her, her back, you bastard. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <laughs> Stay away from my family. I know Aren't what you, you do. Bold Lord. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, too much trouble. Oh, what? I knew you'd bend the knee, actually. This is why we don't like Ramsey. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the park. Ah, God damn it, Ramsey! God! Son of a bitch! Kill them all! Kill them all! My son. Well, uh... I think we're going to stop it there. Uh, like I said, Ramsey is a fucking bastard. 
So uh, we will continue this in the next episode. Hopefully uh, a little less bloodshed and a little less Ramsey. Uh, I wouldn't mind calling Cersei a bitch again, but uh, you know, we'll see. So until the next episode, we out. We're going to get right back into it right now. So let's see if we can't uh, make better things happen this time around. Oh! How wonderful. I, I goofed, apparently. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold us who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Well, that uh, apparently is it for uh, Game of Thrones Episode 1. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun playing it. Um, I'm not sure if I made all the correct decisions. Um, but, you know... Let me know uh, either on the Facebooks or in the comments section uh, if you guys made different choices or how you guys played this game. I'm sure uh, by the time this has been out uh, or uploaded, it's been out for a while. So uh, let us know, and uh, we will be on to the next video. We out!